Looks like we made it back in one piece. Where did Shadow and Rouge go? Did they appear someplace else? Those two can take care of themselves. Alright, we're back and now we're in Radical Train. Now we gotta get to this train quickly and uh, try to get to the princess as quickly as possible. Alright, the first half of the stage is not bad. It's this whole, you know, really rage quit in this game. Yeah, there's so many things that, about this game that make you rage quit. Hell, for me, I was thinking of rage quitting once I got to White Acropolis, to be perfectly honest, in that crappy snowboarding segment. But, you know me, I like to persevere. You know, I don't like to be a quitter here. Uh, you gotta love these automated bo uh, loops. You know, I, you know, you gotta hold up on the D-pad, because sometimes, you know, it can just send you off the edge, like we've seen before. Yeah, so Radical Train has, you know, it has a cool level design. Yeah, thankfully for the first half of the stage, we don't have an invisible, uh, an invisible, uh, time gimmick. You know, I'm surprised we don't, because we have to, uh, you know, get to the train quickly, uh, to, uh, to get the princess. Yeah, but it's really simple, self-explanatory here. Alright. And I love these... Man, I love those crates right there. If you hit them, it just uh, blows up all the enemies. That's really cool. Man, I really wish they could bring that back. Mm. Sadly, they don't. Well, you really don't need them because, you know, since you have a boost, you can basically just run, run into anything with your face at the speed of sound, so you really don't need them. Alright, we got these uh, platforms. They move very, very fast. They kind of remind me of the platforms in a... Uh, in a... Uh, in the uh, in Eggman Land, if you're playing the Nintendo Wii version of the game, uh, because I believe in Act Two, you know you got to go through those areas as the Werehog to move back and forth. And I fucked up. Lovely. <sighs> Seriously, like what the hell? Invisible time gimmicks. Seriously. Like what the fuck? All right. Now we gotta go through this area right here. Again. I gotta just jump cut this, but no. You know, if I'm gonna suffer playing this fucking piece of shit game, you're all gonna suffer too. I've already went through the trouble of taking out the load screens. The load screens alone were like over three hours for everybody. You know, so, you know, I'm gonna make you suffer a little bit. I'm not that cruel. If I wanted to be that cruel, I'll let you watch, uh, upload this part with load screens. And all the town missions. Like, that alone will take up, like, what, five hours. And I'm not gonna do that. Alright, we got a checkpoint here. Oh, man, the, the jumping from pillar to pillar animation is just so... So atrocious, it's hard to look at. Like, what the fuck? How do you guys screw that up? Alright. And I hit a crate, like, what the hell? Ugh. It was just stupid. Now we're in the train yard. Nice. All right, let's rail grind. Now we're subway surfers, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun mobile game, actually. I never played it. I've seen footage of it. Looks like fun. All right, get these damn robots out of my way. Now we gotta flip switches to advance. Eh, it's just peachy. And now we get to the part where everybody hates this fucking stage right here, the mock speed sections. Oh, and trust me, this stage gets gets very, it's even worse with Shadow because you gotta use the stupid motorcycle. Ow, and I hit a train, but I'm still alive. Yeah, that's just great. The only thing that kills you here is the water, but yeah, apparently falling into lava or hitting a train doesn't kill you. And I died because of the camera, and I'm going underneath the edge, and I die. <laughs> that's a funny death animation, not gonna lie. 
Like seriously, you get some of the you get a lot of the most funny deaths in this game, not gonna lie. Some of the deaths are funny because of the levels levels just dicking with you. But look at this. You can't even control your jump in midair, like what the fuck? And that's a tight jump to making that dash panel too. Like what the hell? It's even worse when you gotta use shadow because you gotta use a motorcycle. Alright, we can jump right here. And I barely got that dash pad right there. Alright, so all we gotta do is just run in a in a in a straight line right here. Alright, we should be done with this damn stage. Alright, train carts are falling apart, doesn't matter. All we gotta do is just keep up. Got that metal there. That's great. Yeah, and by the way, I've seen some uh some gameplay of uh 06 using the boost uh mechanic. It does work. Uh it could work with the boost, but at the same time would be in the same uh Discussion with Sonic Forces, you would make the game too quick. I don't know if some people would like that or not. I guess that could work. The stages are not too long as Sonic. You just gotta know where you're going. Alright, see you in the next part. Later. I knew it! Oh, I knew you'd return. You had to! <gasps> You again! This time, there will be no more interruptions! The Iblis Trigger must die! Now we're gonna face the Egg Genesis. Alright, it's a really cool looking mech. So for this boss fight, you gotta wait for the Egg Genesis to, uh, apparently launch its rockets attack, and then, of course, uh, you homing attack, uh, its head, and then you lather, rinse, repeat. Yeah, this boss fight is unique. You know, it's a cool, uh, it's a cool mech. Alright, just climb up here and just homing attack the head. Like that. Yeah, I find it hard to believe that a homing attack from a hedgehog could damage, you know, almost like a 10 ton, you know, a 10 ton, you know, doomsday machine. You know, it's a cool mech, but come on, like, you're, you're serious, that's what damages it? Uh, at least this boss fight, you can actually cheese this boss fight by homing attacking into the, uh, the core right here. It's a fun glitch to pull off. And uh, to end this fight quicker, but I'm not a speedrunner, like I said, I play, you know, try to be safe, uh... I try to be safe when I do this. And I fucked up right there. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, I mean, this boss fight is just uninteresting. Like, all the boss fights are nothing but stall gimmicks, let's be honest. None of them are, are interesting at all. Even the character boss fights, like, they just drag on for fucking ever. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, try to pull off a glitch here. Let me see if I can get it. Okay. That's well, one section now, and obviously. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next part, because let's be honest, I mean, this boss fight's self explanatory. I don't need to explain anything. I'm just bored right now, and I'll see you in the next area. Alright, later.